Hey howdy fellas, my name is Blackwoods and welcome back to another Red Dead Online Adventures on this channel. So yeah, speaking about the Red Dead Online Adventures, I'm really thankful to all of you guys, all of the subscribers and the community that have been showing constant support towards all the content that I make. Thank you guys very much and thanks to all of those guys who subscribe to this channel. And uh, in return, I just thought, you know, maybe I should go ahead and host something called as the community event, which me and a few other YouTubers have planned on hosting something called as the community event so if you guys don't know what that is uh, it's basically an event that we host on our discord channel so if you guys haven't joined the discord the link will be down below in the description you guys can make sure go ahead join the discord so if you guys need any help you want to join with any other players you guys can just jump on to any of the discord voice chat meet with other players make new friends and uh, basically play as a community on this channel we've actually planned on hosting something called as the street fight event so anybody who subscribed to this channel all of the community members even if you're not subscribed you guys can feel free to join this event everyone is invited so the way that you guys join this event is all you have to do is go down to the discord link down below in the description join it and I'll let you guys know when the event is going to start on discord so uh, all of you guys can jump into the watch chat and we can do some crazy things together so any of you guys wondering if I would add you guys on PlayStation I play on the PlayStation so all you have to do is um, add me on PlayStation this is my gamer tag blackwoods1997 and I'll make sure I accept all of your friend requests so that we can do some crazy things in game this game is all about community and uh, it's all about you guys and doing this events are completely not possible if you guys are not taking part in it so make sure that you guys jump in and support the community and let's do something creative so guys moving on to the video I wanted to show you guys a brand new location where you can farm XP and uh, the location is right over here in Saint Denis so if you guys come all the way down here you can see that there is a gun store and beside that there is a bank of Saint Denis where you guys can come down there's like an alleyway in which you're going to be farming XP so guys the more cops that you kill in the game like gives you much better wanted level so you have much better chances of getting more cops coming after you which is why I am killing all the cops around this location before I even start doing that uh, XP farming method now that there are a bunch of cops after me dudes oh my god I need to get inside this location I need to make sure I'm not getting shot go all the way up here and boom you're safe all right so once this guy's coming up make sure you can <clears throat> just just make sure that you're executing them with knife gives you 10 HP and uh, 10 XP for execution melee 10 XP and 5 XP for the kill so it gives you like about a ton of XP indeed and the best part about this using a knife in this method is that you can actually get 10 HP when you kill these enemies with a knife so it's like if you lose any HP killing them you get it back there we go I just melee killed him as you guys can see 5 XP for killing him and uh, that was not a execution so uh, I wouldn't get anything extra so 5 XP for killing him 10 HP extra 10 10 for uh, execution 10 for melee so I'm basically getting around 25 XP for killing these cops and also 10 HP which is really awesome so if you guys are lacking behind on health when police are shooting you in this location don't you worry about it because you're going to be getting your HP back again okay, let me just go all the way down here and try to bait them into my location let me see uh, there's a cop literally standing right over here what are you doing <laughs> What are you doing? You need to come after me. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to stand there and wait for me to come down and bait you folks. Where's the other dude? Okay, there's another cop. Ah! Oh shit, I missed it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe my aim is so bad, lads. My aim is so bad. Bring it on, folks. I'm ready for this. I was built for this. Let's get up here and once again try and do that. I prefer doing this with knife. It's because I don't want to waste ammo on these guys as well as I, I get the same amount of XP uh, if I shoot them. So I'm going to prefer using the knife as you guys can see. Bam! Just execute them just like that. It's pretty easy. And that one's dead. You get XP for executing just like you do with the weapons. And if you guys want to see how it works out with weapons and stuff, let me just show you guys how it works out with a revolver. All right, let me just wait for another cop to come up. Dudes, are you coming up? Oh, there we go. There's this one. All right, that one's dead. It's pretty easy, as you guys can see. Literally, 
just keep standing around here and shooting down all the cops that are coming upstairs. It's gonna be that simple, folks. And there's also another ladder over here. I completely forgot to mention that for you guys. You guys can either go upstairs just like this and try and take this police out. I don't really recommend you guys to come up all the way above here because um, um, staying on the first ladder itself gets the job done so I don't really see the point of like coming all the way above here but um, since you have like a bunch of space around here like maybe you can run around do some crazy stuff um, you guys m might want to come up I'm not really sure I, I don't see the point in it but um, you know people are weird I'm gonna execute him BAM there we go knockout gives you like 5 XP wow that's interesting I didn't know that one. Melee kill gives me... Okay, that's that's really nice, dude. Oh, there's... A, oops! <laughs> I want him to come all the way above. So, uh, I'm gonna wait here. Let me just show you guys that this works on the second stairs as well. Uh, he knows that I'm here. He definitely knows here. Hello, sucker! Alright, I'm going all the way down. Okay, there's a cop right in the ladder, dudes. I can't even get down and he can't get up because I'm in the ladder. There we go. This one's dead. Alright, now I can peacefully go down all the way. I can... Oh, shit! Shit. All right. I didn't know this guy was right here, dudes. Let me go back to my knifing style. All right. I need to lure these cops inside. Okay, they're coming. We can wait, dudes. We can wait. These guys know what's the big deal. So they're coming after us. We don't have to worry about them. Just stay here. Just stay calm and make as much XP as possible. So there's another cop coming upstairs. All right. Just wait for the right time and boom, execute him. There we go. That one's dead. You can also do this while you're in first person, like it actually gives you much better chances of executing them, I believe, I'm not really sure. Let me try this in first person. Oh, there we go, that looks pretty brutal when you're on the first person, dudes. So there are a bunch of cops going to be arriving in this location, back to back. You guys can keep making as much XP as possible. I do understand that there are a bunch of other XP methods as well. There are so many other places. You might be like, Blackwoods, you're showing the same um, XP farming method, but these are just different location. Uh, you guys need to understand this, all right? Every lobby I try to get in, all of the locations that I previously showed you guys on my videos, are mostly occupied by other players or there are uh, many griefers out there but this location seems uh, like pretty legitimate as you guys can see i don't see any griefers trying to trouble you unless like they can throw in a dynamite but i don't think the dynamite can be like that effective like as soon as you see any player around here you can like literally go upstairs like they can't even get you just go upstairs like that and they can't do anything about it and there's no way that they're throwing dynamite all the way about this building so that's it just uh, wait for them to waste their dynamites and then once they're done with that you guys can go back down here and start up with your XP farming so it's that simple that is the one reason why I'm showing you guys all of these different locations and I really hope that these things are actually helping you folks out um, so yeah you guys basically get it right so you need to go down to the abilities right over here not the abilities hold on not the abilities i'm really sorry you need to go back to the progress and go to the awards right over here and there's like different types of awards that you guys can reset so for now let's just take the combat award so you need to kill like 1000 enemies to get the golden award so once you've done that you can reset this awards over and over up to like 10 times i think each awards can be done and the same goes for the sharpshooter so you can like do these xp farming methods with like different weapons like for example take shotgun i've completed 100 kills with shotgun and i've also done um different awards like uh, uh, i've done with the repeaters and stuff like that i keep resetting these things and every time you reset these items right every time you reset these awards what happens is that you're going to be getting some extra xp for doing that you guys get about like a 1500 xp uh sometimes even 3000 XP. It totally depends on what awards you guys are trying to complete. So I would 100% recommend you guys to go ahead and complete all of these awards because they are really, really important when it comes to like uh, doing this XP farming methods and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope this video helped you guys. And, and if you guys did enjoy this like weird gameplay and informational video, uh, make sure to go ahead and drop a like. That would help the channel a ton lot. And you guys have been doing that on every single video. Thank you guys very much for all of those guys who have been supporting massively on this channel. So guys, with that being said, before I end off this video, I also want to remind you guys, the Discord link is down below in the description. You guys can go ahead 
um, join that one so that you guys can be invited to all of the community events that we're going to be doing the first event that we are planning on doing is the street fight it's not just going to be like a random street fight thing where you don't really get awarded for what you do we are planning on doing something in which the player gets awarded for winning all of the street fights so uh, i believe it's going to be like really fun and it's not going to be possible unless you guys are helping the community out make sure to join the discord and add me up on the playstation i'll make sure i accept all of your requests and with that being said guys i'm gonna end up this video right here and right now i uh, hope you guys are having a great day and i'll see you all on the next one peace